to session seven. Okay. Uh, so the title is um, Pollute. Uh, it's going to be uh, Wei's co author Frank Zhang from Yale University, Yale from Xiamen University, is from UIUC. Our design by Judson Kowski, who's from a reminder about the uh, 20 minutes for the uh, for Wei. Uh, we have to give his discussion. And then we have to could all make sure, please, that your microphone uh, so that we don't have any background noise. Just your questions to the link. Okay? Uh, after I will uh, select some questions you have posted, uh, I'll try. We'll try to get through as many questions as possible. Further ado, uh, I'd like to pass the time headway. Thank you. Couple of seconds. Uh, share your screen and put on my chat display. Rearrange this view for your patience. Okay, I think uh, we okay. Just give me a thumbs up. Let me restart the timer and get started. Good morning, afternoon, or to from Universal Illinois. I I want to thank the conference or to share our research and reviews and many other comments and suggestions. At Yale University, as you can tell from the title or page, the starting point of our project went to externality. Or fine. Environmental externality is given recent finance, recent the traditional solution to however people gradually realize patients. As a result, found for corporate environmental sustainable popular market-based interests of managers and society. Based on whether corporate yes can be or it is simply a portion. For example, Wall Street Alex Adamans and Tiger Funds at least three times yesterday happened in our last conference. Channel proposing the practice analysis goes through managerial short managerial short termism, which to meet earnest benchmark. These and the yes and zero for externalities. Evidence regarding these two ideas. First, does short term earnest benchmark affect pollution? If managers have a shorter that they cut pollution control effort, assuming the answer to question was is does corporate yield earnest benchmarks and pollution? If yes. Curbs argued by some practitioners and researchers commitment to yes in long term value maximization. There are reasonable arguments. For example, Tarka Francis prediction to ours. For question one, consistent firms meeting earnings benchmark analyst forecast pollute more. Two, opposite to our prediction, corporate yes, measured by E pollute even more. Instead, we find similar results for ES environmentally sustainable funds. We propose an environmental surprise in funding. This contribute to the real earnings environmental economics literature. End of the presentation. Is what does pollution mean? Pollution with toxic release. The release of about four of the EPA's TRI data on toxins with chronic effects. Due to this, in general, is not. Instead, EPCRS plans to file annual disclosure chemical level to the of calendar year end. If it's reporting to guarantee data quality. While TII chemical is, is legal as long as regulations. Our data should operate within regulations. For some release generated by reasons rather than access or toxic release, increased risk pushing abatement activities. To release. We believe activities for TRI talk operational decision in the short term and the possible long term for firm with a now let's look at the example of Texas Institute. I picked this exam conduct engineer who work in this he educate me with much confidence in the fundings or producers use two major roles used to make semiconduct wafers to edge silicon. The edge chlorine containing gas HF talk, convert to TI, protein fluoride, and some others. If here, it drives the result. Plants need to install abatement technology state level emission or quality. The most common technology abatement of HF wet scrubber, as shown in this scrubbing liquid, absorb HF high pressure environment. A scrubber is very expensive because electricity and pack material. It is possible, however, to save the cost. In which travels through a scrubber and go direct to wind. Any estimate from TI, from Intel, 
it costs to remove just one ton of it. Just give us one point estimate. So it is possible that unit may go down as a scale. With this knowledge of HFE around 2009 for Texas, TI beats consensus in 2009 with 0 mark. For all other years, it beats the consensus over to level of toxic release, scale by risk. It is clear from the, it's abnormally higher for two. For question one, that firms meeting. After we dig in, we found that 86% use an Intel's adding abatement cost of HF to EPS of 2009. This estimate may be over. Let's step further and ask, is TI on the opposite? TI is an observation is consistent with our finding higher copper ES, in fact, less when meeting earnings benchmark. So by this time, some a paper by Liu et al. with a beauty. It's a very nice paper. I like, grew up in a Chinese city where you dear. So I feel the paper. Chinese firms pollute more. At first glance, our findings simply reproduce their findings. Two papers were independently developed. A deeper look into their paper suggests. First, they study surfacing in TRI. Second, the results are limited to state or central government, and there is no research. An insignificant associated marks and SO2 emission for which are most comparable to you confirm this insignificant. In US sample, using e in contrast, we found between meeting earnings benchmark. Well, you may ask what's going on here. We suspect the cost release is likely to be a monitor. Toxic release of TR chemical monitored by EPA. In count one of the six criteria of acute health and environment EPA in real time and in consequence. Such our study and Liu et al. offer a rich picture of how different types of pollution. It goes through some details of our empirical test, our ice and standard database over consisting of 39 sound plants. We have three key variables. Incentive suspect is an in volume between zero and two cents for analyst annual EPS for toxic release is a size into air, water, and ground by layer of ES, E score, E strength, minus the number of e indicators of MSCI. Uh, we choose this database sample and the rating reflect us. So look at the firm level regression. We found that about 16% more firm years that just miss the contrast. Firm years that actually or beats the contrast not release more toxins. See? to meeting earnings benchmark. I mentioned earlier, most TRI toxins say, however, and the lead are exceptions. Air pollutants like SO2, and we therefore do not expect earnings benchmark. Indeed, coefficient suspect for ozone plus, we continue to find a significant. Turning to, we find a significant positive score suggesting that the pullback link is stronger in with higher E ratings observe a moderating effect serves as a falsification test. Moderating effect of E-score, we decolore detailed E-rating data. First, we decompose our E-score and NTR is based on E-indicator that are released generated by pollution prevention program and score is based on E-indicators that such as simply being a manufacturer. We found that the score is driven by TR is that the surprise and moderating effect randomness in our data. Compose TRE score into the, the other component based on E concerns. Refer to inputs such as pollution, generally refer to outcomes, enforcement. We found that things have a moderating effect as it rules out the greenwashing firms polluting more salary ratings by exaggerating. This is because greenwashing for concerns. Environment concerns are less likely in pollution motivates an in Under this explanation, have better environmental track record well, that reduce the cost of solution when such need arrives. The emission allowances left to a soft pollution rate with implicit limits. Both, it might also be good later that excuse the firm from temperature. We provide three pieces of evidence. First, we show that higher theory concerns associated with law enforcement, lower settlement amount, funding suggests that irreliable measures of environmental release. Moderating effect of e track at the plant level when we use plant level measures of e track cooler. The regress effect suggests that cut pollution abatement costs, lower past emission, and the fewer past.
Finally, we found that the post benchmark and toxic release is among firms held more by mm. this funding. The funding in prior studies at investor screen and select firms, and our earlier funding pollute more. In summary, the connective evidence goodwill explanation, how possible alternative explanation. So let me conclude here on working on this project. First, and new matters. It is go beyond the boundaries of the third lot, which we summarize and pollute. This observes negative externalities of T and wage document by that. Second, I learned that no sustainable invest system with a long-term value maximum manager or short-term event. Details of toxic release. Finally, I learned the connective attempts to address environment and evidence by hundreds of us discussed ESG issues is that Peter is going to start. A While we may have different our ultimate objective is actually what my six-year-old one day after reading Save the Earth. Your contribution towards this. All for your patience. I look as well as conversation with you. Stop here and stop sharing. Our discussant now is Judson. You have uh, 15 minutes. You can see. All right. Yep. So uh, editors and the conference organizers for the paper and to, uh, to participate in the conference. All right, so in Meat, Beat, and Pollute, uh, they're examining a particular form of earning with emissions controls. The basic idea is pretty straightforward. So companies harmful emissions are facing earnings shortfalls. They might cost of operating this equipment. They could, you know, entire things they can do, such as uh, delay effectiveness. And M. Harvey and Raj Kapal survey pay, uh, executives explicitly maintenance to uh, this paper fits uh, square. You know, more broad, it's, you know, home is like in the real man, real scene, uh, prior studies, Z, where if you look at, uh, look at excess production that you can, uh, allocate a smaller thing, discretionary expense, non-accounting be like the entries paper, paper on wages. And then you had mentioned the Lewis sulfur dioxide emissions, which mostly related in, in terms of like the, uh, they mentioned that these SO2 that you described with the hydrogeners and you can. They actually have evidence for this to may know when the inspectors are known to make sure to have the scrubbers on, which is you know, a little bit of a difference than what we have here. The main result supports this hypothesis relation between um, release, there's a positive relation, and then they find a higher and suspect periods, which is defined beat or this is the Bergstaller to Chef things management, where you know they really stretch things to you know just get hit their earnings target for various sets of controls. I think the plant fixed effects are probably in this case because um, at the firm level, you could have activity amongst plants, but a given plant is a very comparable stream year fixed effects of measures of toxins, mutations. Um, as, uh, as we mentioned, the emissions like lead and sulfur. Yes, you can theoretically shut off your remedial, but that's going to land you in pretty big in the, in the public and so on for most companies. Um, I'd say the relation holds when scaling that and then that they don't find that, well, the firm uh, just put more toxic release. Well, if, if that also releases in large beats or, and, and lastly, moving on to some other points, is this uh, log it, it has some econometric proud colleagues from university of Texas. So I'll put here. So it's a different Lou and I know my handwriting is situations, but, um, he's log one plus X be uh, quite problematic. And it's, so that's, a, that's another reason why link by sales, cause you're automatically doesn't have some of these econometric problems, but variety of specifications. And so again, it doesn't hold for the criteria and also, um, seeing this idea of sort of circumventing the emissions control, uh, lower cost of goods, but they also, from the EPA data, they have the output stays the same or cost of goods sold, which suggests they're doing that the part of this, something is cost of operating. So it's not going to reduce their output sold. And so here I find that provides a really compelling story. You know, the companies are emissions equipment and get higher profits, strongest part of the paper look at um, these environmental. And so the idea is that if you have environmental ratings, 
Uh, maybe you wouldn't expect to see them you know, increasing their emission. When you look at uh, in toxic release scores, they find a positive relation only in environmental scores, and then similarly, strengths and concerns. So it looks like the high, you know, not the benevolent angels or whatever, they're um, uh, going in. I don't know that means that they pollute more than usual earnings pressure. And learn with how to interpret these tests is from fixed effect to the extent that these that um that's sort of most of the impacts could be acting like sort of a fit suspect is just kind of tagging along because it is so sticky so that, i think something worth looking at although i think there's some very good reasons we see this relation only for the companies uh and i'll, I'll go on, on that to the next slide Another thing to bear in mind when look you know i don't think that this really tells pollution levels so first, when you look at the sus, it's only 12% of the periods. When you look at their companies, and so when interacting with East after the fix effects, we're talking about periods for a small, I don't think that this really tells us much about, a lot about what managers struggling to hit their targets. Lastly, before I move on, um, number of periods for a small number of concerns that this is driven by outliers, appendix, tests that do have influential observations and so on to make, you know, company that has like a manage earnings one period, uh, they do that, you know, they all have potential issue and then an analysis, but in their internet appendix, they get this issue of what happens with over that depends on when they're not in the suspect. So let's say like this, like low E E. And then um, periodically, the boost their pollution, OE firms on average, pollution levels, but uh, pollution overall, have, yes, they increase emissions when, um, you know, when, the, when they're really struggling with other people. And remember, there's, it very well be happening. Um, my prior, again, answer with data, but my prior is that, that probably OE firms are to meet the regulatory, you know, they can't emissions without getting fines from the, these high ease, the regulatory minimums that, and yes, they do, but that doesn't mean that they're, it just means that there's willing to sacrifice his or herself in, in order to meet these broader, uh, but they, they still might be doing better. And then we'd like to have seen in the analysis is more where we would like of this type of behavior. So example, Technologies that I systems to control air pollution. You know, they go through low maintenance costs and so on. So that you're not going to expect to be associated with, um, you know, those. Okay. That's an operating cost where we would expect to see it. Um, industries that cooperative oxidizer behavior in these companies. That is, you keep the thing running over time. So if you let the machine heat and cool, placing parts more often. The costs are low to operate concentrations of chemicals. So these companies are on and they're not going to turn it off. Once, uh, and then companies with pollutants aren't going to use this machine at all. And so for all these others uh, rating, these are all for low cost to see this is at least the technologies, it's going to be you're engaging in this type of behavior and the most to gain. So they can, they can, and then they have samples of which applications you to see these technologies used. And then the, uh, um, you know, you made a few sustainability goals, uh, termism. I think you might have going back to these capital, a manager environment. If that manager, she might buy these over technologies because she's not thinking of life and it's going to be thinking about the regulation, just what's in place now. So it could be that the might meet the current standard. They buy one, you know, these things tend to ratchet up They're buying. And then they also, because they're barely meeting this, these, uh, your beneficial is having them not because she cares about the i'm going to buy this expensive piece of the i'm going to buy, buy the equipment based on this over the 10-year period thing to keep in mind all right uh, you know, wrap up here you provide some compelling evidence that this air emissions so between the effect for the beats the and then the effects uh no effect on salt so that's evidence somewhat less compelling in the relation seeing something that the um, environmental scores are about like overall emission levels involved um, pretty like low emitter companies in this phenomenon and 
if these are if these are just that they simply have a lot of slack. Um, so even though yes, they're in, they're just they're not emitting a lot. Uh, but thank thank you, just I think we're going to call it and then. Okay. All right. Th th but thank you for that. Excellent. So let me just very quickly go into raise. So uh, Sue and some other people like John. Um, they have a question that's kind of about distinguishing between variable costs. Um, so Suhas is asking, you know, very more directly by looking at the specific example, wages, supplies, um, and I had a, a question, cost of goods sold by revenues. So a reduction in cost of goods sold is just an inkling meeting and beating the earnings targets. For this question, it's definitely a great cost. Based on our read from all the majority of a big pollution product cost, it's a variable cost. Those reports, EPA reports, in the about it is a variable cost. That's a cost of goods sold. And the, another, another, most of the discussion points out is including cost of goods sold. It is cost of goods sold down. But, uh, we in order to measure cost of goods sold, whether there you scale or not, results from columns, but because now it's already 80 or 90 parts. Uh, but yeah, all these points in the paper. I jettison for the great card for an amazing. We all back on our earlier draft before as you actually read our internet. Okay, I'm going to interrupt, yeah. interrupt you there because uh, we have a question from Matthias Broy and some other people also. Yeah. Uh, this is a potential alternative exp will explanation for why it is that cuts their costly abatement by environmental ratings. An interesting alternative explanation. Um, the firms that engage actions receive high ratings and therefore these are the firms that are sure to briefly abatement costs so this is different be an alternative explanation for your cross great alternative explanation you know e-rating firms spend because they have the ability to cut for that with anything there's nothing to cut explanations and to some extent we use a good way explanation to but we can definitely uh, make our explanation more solid alternatives and we are happy to test them Okay, thank you very much, John. Uh, this is from Andrea, Colorado, and some other people. Um, how strongly are toxic releases, and given the overproduction earnings management, real earnings management releases, you document a dr being driven? That's a great alternative expert our fault not to highlight that part. In this version of paper, we try different, we actually even use EPA to show that me sample is not associated. So definitely caution that our results may not be generalized. It's just in our sample firm. Definitely highlight that in the paper. Thank you, Wei. Uh, thank you for being so recent for what I thought was an egg. Um, we it's now have, uh, um, so we'll resume at Pacific time uh, for somebody who contributed to the